Hello guys, this is Samuel once again from Sony Tech. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to include or add icons to a navbar. Also, I'm going to be showing you how to add images to your website. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Font Awesome. So actually, Font Awesome is a free icon library that you can download icons from and add it to your website. We have other icon libraries just as bootstrap icons, ion icons, we have tabla icons, we have react icons, and a whole lot. So to use font awesome, you open your browser and search for font awesome. You click on the first search results you see, that is this. You then be linked to this page, that is the font awesome website. You click on get started, sorry, start for free. You then be redirected to this page. Navigate through this page and choose the download button you see here. It will then link you to this page and choose download font awesome free for the web. I actually have my downloaded already. When you download the file from font awesome website, it's going to appear as a zip file just like this. So you have to right click on the file and choose extract all. It's going to take some time, so I've already done that. So this is my unzipped file. I'm going to open it. So when you open it, you have this folder inside the folder we opened. Sorry. <laughs> so when we open it again, we have lots of folders here. But for this tutorial, I want to be needing just the CSS and the web fonts folder. So to get rid of the rest and keep the CSS and the web fonts folder, we can select all by pressing and holding the control key and the A key. So, so to deselect the CSS and the web fonts folder, we can also press the control key and select the CSS folder and the web fonts folder as well and hit delete. Okay. nice okay i think we are done but this name looks a, a much long so i think we can reduce this name by renaming it so to do a quick rename we can click or select the folder or you can press f2 and let's change it to f uh, fonts okay 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 so in our previous way that is our navbar that is our first video. I want to drag and drop the fonts into our work. I already have mine done. Okay, so this is what we have here. So we are going to open the folder in Visual Studio Code or your favorite text editor. In my case, Visual Studio Code. Okay. So I have my Visual Studio Code already opened. Okay, so to include or to or to link your fonts folder to your HTML page. We can simply do link. Uh, we can do fonts. Oops. Can do can do fonts. We we'll choose this one. Uh, we can open our CSS. Okay. So now when you open the fonts, you open your CSS. You see there are whole lots of. So you have to choose the all dot main dot CSS. In your case when you when you open your css folder for the first time you want to see a whole lot of stuff let me show you css i want to see all dot css all dot means dot css i want to see brands dot css a whole lot you can just get rid of everything and just simply keep all dot main dot css and also font awesome dot main dot css so to do this you can simply select everything press control select the all dot main dot css and control font awesome dot main dot css and press delete okay so let's get back into our visual studio code so this is all we have so we can continue so so we have all dot main dot css we can copy this and duplicate so shift alt and the down arrow key 
for now we can also link the other one that is the font awesome dot main dot css so we have font okay correct okay so i think we done okay so we've also linked our css already let's see okay before i forget let's open this in live server oops what's happening live server live server live server okay open with live server okay we've opened this in live server there's nothing here let's get rid of this okay so to include your icon you head on to the font awesome page uh let's see so uh you can use the search bar and search for icons so for our home we are going to search for home oh my internet is quite slow okay home 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 oh what's wrong what's wrong so we are going to use this icon so to use this icon or to include this in your html Okay, so now we choose the home. Oops, what's wrong? Uh, okay, okay, so you, you now be brought here. You choose this, so you copy it. So now open up here is good. And let's see what we can do. So beside our home here, we can simply paste this by pressing Ctrl V. And let's see our output. Where's our live server? Let's, a... let's refresh. Okay, so it's working. So it looks like our live server is not working, so we can forget that. Let's continue. It says for envelope. I want to be using the envelope for our contact. So envelope and hit enter. Okay. We can choose the first results you see. My internet is fully with me. Okay. So that's open. So we can simply copy this. Click to copy. Okay, which I'll see your code. We can now paste our copied code closer to the contact. Okay, control V. Let's see our output. Okay, it works. Okay, so we'll do the same thing for the about uh, font awesome. So for the about you can type user. User oh, font awesome. So for user, we have lots of icons, so I'll go with this. Okay, so our user has opened, so we can click to copy. Open VS Code once again, and we paste closer to the about. Okay, let's see our output. Refresh. Okay, it looks nice, but I think there should be some space between the icon and the home. So to do this, you can simply open VS Code once again, and uh, let me see, let me see, let me just put a space here, space, 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 and also in VS Code to wrap the text in your workspace, you can simply press Alt and Z. Okay, so let's see our output. Okay, so there's some space. It looks nice. Okay. Okay, okay. So I think we actually we are done with our tutorial. So this is just the simple way to add an icon to your navbar or to our navbar. Okay, so for the emoji, to add your emoji back to VS Code, let's simply get rid of this. Uh, let me see. Open an 
is to tag and do so I want to add a lab emoji so to add a lab emoji I can simply press windows and the full stop okay so windows and full stop so I, and I'll select the lab okay so now let's refresh and see oh came as black I don't know why but let's try it again windows and dots uh, let me see let me see okay let's add this one let's see our output refresh okay so this one came well I don't know why but I'll look for solutions and attend to you guys later so thank you so much for watching this tutorial don't forget to share comment and subscribe See you in the rest of the tutorials. Bye.